This is the Odyssey Maxwell. It is by far the best headset that I've used and it sets a new standard for gaming headsets. Usually gaming headsets have really bad or at best average audio quality and anyone that knows a thing or two about audio quality stays away from gaming headsets. Gaming headsets usually target a younger audience that don't know much about audio quality and they just want a flashy looking headset on their head that they can show off to their friends. That narrative about gaming headsets is about to change and it starts with the Odyssey Maxwell. These use 90 mm planar magnetic drivers that produce a way more accurate and detailed sound than the 40 mm dynamic drivers that most gaming headsets use. This means that these headphones are not only good for gaming, but they're also really good for music listening or media consumption. As well as low latency wireless connectivity with the included dongle, these headsets have Bluetooth 5.3 support. You won't be able to connect Bluetooth and wireless simultaneously though, but it does support quick switch between the different connections and it works really well. The battery life on these headsets is an insane 80 hours per charge and it takes only three and a half hours to fully charge. When I received these headsets five days ago, they came 90% charged and after using them excessively for hours every day for work and play, they only went down to 60%. So they are definitely not lying about that 80 hours. If anything, it might last more than 80 hours, which is crazy. Another feature that is unique to this headset is AI noise suppression. This is meant to block out any annoying outside sound when using the mics on any platform. I found this to work really well, but more on that after we talk about the mic quality. So let's talk about mic quality. A convenient feature that these have is the inclusion of the external mic, which you will use for optimal mic quality, and the inclusion of a second mic, which is integrated inside the headphone itself. Now, I found the inclusion of the integrated mic to be really useful because I can put these on in public and still be able to take phone calls, even though I don't have the external mic attached. This is a sound test of the external mic, and this is a sound test of the internal mic. As you can hear, the internal mic is not as good as the external, but it's still not bad. This is a test of the noise suppression feature. I'm just going to play some music. I'm going to place my phone there. You can still probably hear the music because the sound suppression feature is off. So I'm going to turn it on to low. Noise suppression is set to low now, which means that you're not going to hear the song as clearly and it should block out most of the song. Now I'm going to turn noise suppression to high. Now this should block out most of the sound that's coming from the song. As you can see for yourself, this feature is very useful if you want to play or take phone calls in a very busy environment. You just turn noise suppression to high and they won't be able to hear anything else that's going on other than your voice. So how is the sound quality on these headphones? And I have to say, Every time I put on a song and I listen to music, it becomes an experience for me. When I listen to music on a gaming headset or a cheaper headphone, the sound is very muffled. It's like very limited. But when you listen to music with these, it's like you can hear everything. You can distinguish every single instrument that's playing. If you've only used gaming headsets, it's really hard for me to explain the sound experience on these to you. But imagine your vision is blurry and then you put on glasses for the first time and you can see everything more clear. That's what the sound of the Maxwells represents when listening to music. Let's talk about gaming. At the end of the day, these are marketed as gaming headsets, which means a lot of gamers are going to buy them and they will not be disappointed because these have the 90 millimeter planar magnetic drivers. They provide a very detailed and immersive sound and they have a stronger bass than any gaming headset that you've used. So the more detail and stronger bass is a very good combination for really immersive sound in story-based games. However, I was more interested on how these would perform in FPS or competitive games. Because if a pair of headphones is really bad at picking up footsteps, it's really going to be a deal breaker for 95% of people, including myself. So the first thing that I did was I booted up CSGO in a deathmatch and I put this on and to my disappointment, they were very average at picking up footsteps. They were only slightly better than my 
Logitech G Pro Wireless, which I've been using for two years. This did not make sense to me. How could a pair of really good and really detailed gaming headsets be bad at picking up footsteps? It just doesn't make sense. So I started investigating and I found a few useful tips which really improve the imaging performance on these gaming headsets. First tip is to download the custom EQs that Gadgetary Tech, who is a YouTuber, has created with collaboration with Maxwell. They have created custom EQs for almost every popular competitive title. So after applying the custom EQs, I went back to CSGO and to my surprise, the performance was way better. It was night and day. So if you're going to use this for FPS, I definitely recommend doing this. Now, the second tip that I recommend applying is downloading the Dolby Atmos software and turning it on on Windows. Now, if you get the Xbox version of these, which I do recommend getting if you're only going to use it for PC, it will already come with a Dolby Atmos license, so you don't need to purchase it. But if you're like me and you got the PS version of these because you want to use it with your PS5 occasionally as well, then I recommend buying the Dolby Atmos software, which is only like $16, and this will dramatically improve the imaging performance on these. So after applying all the tips that I just mentioned, I do think that these are on par with the best gaming headsets when it comes to imaging. Now, let's talk about comfort. Because if a pair of gaming headsets are not comfortable, it doesn't matter how good they sound, it doesn't matter how great they are with the features that they have, it is going to be a deal breaker. There seems to be a bunch of people that find these really heavy, and they are on the heavier side. They weigh half a kilogram or just one pound, which is heavy for a headset. As a result, a lot of users reported that this was uncomfortable for their necks and they were getting neck strains. But I cannot confirm that because for me, these have been really comfortable. Even though they're half a kilogram, I just don't feel that half a kilogram on my head. Maybe I just have a big head, strong neck, I don't know. These are really comfortable for me, but they might not be comfortable for you. So you will just have to find out. I do wish they were not as bulky as they are, but that's not because of comfort reasons. It just means that this would be more portable in my bag or putting it around my neck. But when it comes to comfort, these are really nice. This is the best all-rounder headset that I've ever used. I use it for work, I use it for listening to music and media, I use it when I'm on the train, I use it when I'm gaming competitively or just casually. I use it for everything and it does everything well. The only downside for some people is that they're a little bit on the bulkier side and they weigh half a kilogram, which is on the heavier side for a headset. I also do wish they supported simultaneous Bluetooth and wireless connectivity, but they don't. Other than that, every single feature on this is amazing and it's been working really well for me. So I definitely do recommend these. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video or if you learned anything from this video, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you.